Welcome to Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, the new Ghostbusters hide and seek ghost hunting game that's set to release on the 18th on Epic Games and on all the consoles. The game can be played with up to five people in random lobbies or in bot lobbies, so you can play offline as well. In this video, I will be going through the firehouse and see how you can customize your character show you some of the cutscenes, and in the next video I will show you some actual gameplay I recorded with some of my friends the other night. You start off at the entrance to the firehouse by the very famous Ghostbusters mobile. Would you look at that car? It's beautiful. When you walk here over to the left, there is where you'll be able to let your wildest imagination go to town and customize your character. As you can see on the screen, you can change your body type to more lean, more skinnier, a little bit more plump. You can switch between. There's only two body types, which is a woman and a man. You can choose a voice hey, for your hey, character. Hey, we could really use your help out there. Hey, hey, I went for the hey, womanly we could, voice because hey, hey, I am hey, indeed a woman. Hey, we could they do have a variety of skin cares available and like um, facial types that you can choose. You can also see you can have a lot done to your brows. You can change a lot the brow depth, the height, the brow in and out, the peak and the spacing, which is pretty cool to me. So you can characterize how you want. Let your wildest dreams not be dreams. The same goes for the eyes and the mouth and the nose, even the ears. You can make yourself have the biggest ears possible. For the hairstyles, there are not too many hairstyles available, but some of them do unlock as you unlock some levels in the game. Same goes for the hair colors shown on the right side of the screen. Uh, you unlock the more vibrant, beautiful colors later on um, as you go through the levels, which are not really that hard to get to. I think to get to level 30, as I am right now, we played like two nights, so <laughs> two nights of two hours. It, it doesn't really take that much to get all the cool and vibrant colors so you can be your true self. For the out outfits as well, you can see some of the uh, suit colors do unlock as you're later on in the levels. They're kind of like a status symbol, I guess. And the same goes for the shirt colors that they, you know, also unlock as you go along. For the accessories, you also unlock hats, you unlock glasses. All of the gray ones will be unlocked when you get the game. And the rest you'll get as you uh, go on in your levels. Now that you have your character created, let's check out the ghost types. For the ghost, there seems to be five ghosts at the moment and they all have different variations that you can choose from and each of them has a different color you can choose for them. I'll go through them quickly. If you want to see something, pause, go ahead and read what their special attributes and everything else is, how they move, and all of that. And I will show you guys that in the next video as well. How to play as a ghost and uh, how to defeat the ghost. In the hallway, you can practice um, tethering the ghost. And you can also check out the gear and see if you have any upgrades available as you upgrade your levels. The more you get the ghost in your trap, the more trap upgrades you receive. So, some of the things, yeah, as you see, they show the levels that they um, open up to. So, you just kind of keep leveling and to get all the cool things. And for now, I'll show you the cutscenes. Thank you. Corporeal manifestations, full-scale psychomagnetic events, exiled Sumerian gods, 
For a fleeting, ephemeral moment, we were heroes. Celebrated across the city, heck, across the world. Unparalleled in our field, preternatural pioneers on the brink of discoveries our scientific forefathers could never have even dreamed of. At even the slightest implication of paranormal activity, everyone knew who to call. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what happened. Chalk it up to a huge misunderstanding, a fallout. For a while, I wasn't sure why I was getting out of bed in the morning. And some mornings, I didn't. That's all behind us now. We saved the world yet again, and we're back. And <laughs> the firehouse cleans up pretty good, huh? At one point, some hot shots bought the place and turned it into an overpriced Java joint. But now, we're up, running, and firing on all 16 cylinders. All to code, too. Well, uh, most of the codes. At the very least, the codes we're aware of. For me, it's the energy of the old place. Pure ebullience, galvanic energy coursing through the air. And no, I'm not talking about anything psychokinetic, ectoplasmic, or paranormal. Just good, old-fashioned human emotion. Provinces of the living. Oh... I didn't know how much I needed to be back. How much Winston needed me back here. But someone from the old guard has to hold down the fort, you know? Because there's still real work to be done. And that's where you come in. The phone isn't ringing off the hook right now, which uh, is a blessing and a curse. What's good for business is a bad omen for everything else. But if it were up to me, I'd still be in the thick of it. But it's time for a new generation. And that's you. You have the chance to peek behind the capricious veil of life itself and see firsthand what exists on the other side. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, slimy, really. And yes, that might mean having to pick up a book or two. What people don't know about the Ghostbusters could fill ten encyclopedias. And before you even ask, uh, yeah, I've thought about it. Been approached by some very interested parties. Which isn't saying much. Every hack and wannabe with a laptop can be published today, whether they know the science or not. And trust me, they Ray? don't. Ray? Go ahead, this is Ray. Is there someone there with you? Uh... Let me guess. The new recruit is there with you? Ray, you gotta let them get to work. All trainees report directly to the firehouse, remember? Over. Uh, well, uh, that's our time. Good talk. Off you go to meet Cat. Welcome to the team. And don't worry, I'll be in touch. And speaking of Ray, <laughs> based on the fact that you're 15 minutes late for your orientation, I'll assume you've already met him. He has a tendency to get worked up and can forget that we have an onboarding process for a reason. Love Ray like a brother, but he needs to get out more. Allow me to introduce the head honcho. Winston Zedmore. Welcome, kid. Happy to have you on the team. I may sign the checks, but don't go around calling me boss. If you have any questions, don't ask me. Call Cat. That's me. I run operations here. You and the other busters will get your jobs dispatched from me. Any trouble in the firehouse or the field, you come to me. Got it? Hello. Ah, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Uh, take a seat or stand, make yourself comfortable. What I have to show you is of the utmost importance and can't wait a second longer. You see before you perhaps the most prodigious discovery known to the metaphysical science community. Look familiar? It's the first, and I mean very first, edition of Tobin's Spirit Guide. The holy grail of supernatural encyclopedia. I finally tracked this down a week ago and it just arrived. I had to overnight it from... <laughs> it's best you don't know. Now, I can't deny that my possession of such an extraordinary artifact does naturally provoke questions as to how and where I got it. Uh, it's no secret that Tobin is a hero of mine. Throughout Ghostbusters operations, the Spirit Guide has been our de facto resource. Even now, over a hundred years since its first publication, it remains the most respected compendium in the paranormal investigative medium. No other researcher, metaphysician, or common raving supernatural obsessed maniac 
has gone to the lengths that Tobin did to chronicle that which is not of this world. Although some might say, given his sordid later life, perhaps he went too far. Like Tobin, I too fell down a rabbit hole at a young age. This mildewed tome has been my elusive golden goose, my singular vice and obsession. I paid a great deal of money, well, Winston's money, to some questionable individuals who have scoured the farthest reaches and risked countless perils to find it. It turns out it was right under Tobin's nose all along, literally. It was found in his coffin, resting on his now concave chest. John Horace Tobin had his spirit guide buried with him. Here, a keepsake from your first occult book acquisition. Never forget this moment, kid. It's a big one. Tremble in trepidation, for before you I stand, the magnanimous purveyor of the paranormal, leading scholar on the supernatural, once known in another dimension long ago as John Horace Tobin. I have shed my mortal coil and appear to you now, lost spirit, as the gatekeeper between the world of the living and what lies beyond. Behold! Behold! Oh, bugger. Give us a sec. So fast, you platitudinous phantasmagorical parasite! It's too late. Doom is here at your doorstep. You cannot stop me. There's more where that came from. Let Winston go, or next time that'll be you. <laughs> Fine. I will yield. Take back this useless, disgusting flesh pod. Power. As great as mine requires a more worthy surrogate, and I see none here that are fitting. Uh, uh, it would seem I'm unable to release him. I require some assistance. <clears throat> Do not think you have won. There is hell to pay. Oh yes, you will pay when... Uh, I get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie, get him in the chair. Whatever we're dealing with, he won't say his name, is in complete control of Winston, mentally and physically. Luckily for us, it seems to be much weaker than, for example, Zul. More like the possessors you usually encounter. Even so. A non-corporeal, otherworldly possessor is no laughing matter. But for the life of me, I can't remember trapping this one. I hold your 
world in the palm of my hand, ready to crush it like an ant. Hurry up and get me out of this guy before I lose my patience. You haven't seen the full extent of my rage. Well, if it looks anything like the scared lost little puppy who nearly wet himself at the sight of a proton pack, then yes, we don't want to see that again. Keep talking, fool. I've reduced lesser worlds to steaming piles of ash. Let me cut in. When dealing with supernatural entities, I recommend taking a softer approach. I'll listen up, Nameless. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, as they say, but uh, Winston is extremely crucial to this operation, not to mention a close friend. So, um, you have to let him go. You understand? Separate us, and I'll consider your insolent offering. I was locked inside that trap for so long that I forgot why I even came to this cold, boring vestibule you call life. We'll do whatever it takes to free Winston. Let's get to work, everyone. You keep busting ghosts while we take care of this and we'll keep you in the loop. Why does everyone just casually forget that I'm a genius scientist? This device, Kinetic Endothermic Actuator, will overstimulate the negative ions with it. Basically, it's gonna rip this guy out of that guy. Good. It's starting to stink in here. That's you. And someone's been oozing ectoplasm all over the floor. Also you. Even more reason to initiate the procedure. Oh good. An authority figure has arrived. Let us begin. Winston? Uh, welcome back. Oh, whew, that was something else. Thanks, Eddie. Whew, enough time's been wasted. Let's get back to work. A commendable effort at escape, but you clearly don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> Bravo! You think you're so smart. Huh? Bet you won't be feeling so smart. When I do this! Uh-oh. Eddie, come in. This is urgent. Whatever you do, do not untether Winston from that metaphysical being. Too little. Too late. What the hell's going on up there? Ooh. You're in trouble now, Eddie. <laughs> Shut up. Stall. I can figure this out. Sounds like a lot of commotion going on considering that I specifically asked for you to keep Eddie at bay. Let me guess. Eddie's hypothetical science didn't go as planned and Nameless was able to get the slip on him, opening a cross-dimensional doorway with the intent of bringing some of his foul-mouthed friends to the party. We need to close it ASAP. Ray, would you mind helping us find a solution? You know gaining insight into the wide world of the occult is my favorite pastime. I'm on it, and I assume Eddie's on top of it too. Exactly what I'm afraid of. Well, we've still got a job to do and people that need us. The rookie and I will handle field work. Good luck with repairing the hole in the fabric of space-time. 